Hello and welcome to uh, just a quick let's have fun with Star Wars The Old Republic. Uh, I will be playing a little bit of the Galactic Starfighter. Uh, I guess expansion. To all ships. This repair outpost is critical to our operations in this region. It must not fall into enemy hands. Each of this outpost defensive satellites must be secured and patrolled until our technicians have activated their systems. Watchwords are swift and absolute. Republic forces are in system and will attempt to intercept. Break formation, fire at will, and hold this outpost for the Empire. Okay, so you've heard the introduction. Uh, essentially, it is space PvP, finally introduced in uh, Star Wars The Old Republic. It's not quite as good as Star Trek Online. Um, but it's not bad. Personally, I hate versing gunships, although I do like killing them. So they pretty much just sit back and snipe you from as far away as they can. Kind of annoying. I'm gonna f probably fly all three ships, just to show you around. Um, so, you've got a reticle in front of you, um, in the bottom left hand side you've got your ship display plus shields and power displays. Uh, the first line is your weapon, second line is shield, third is uh, boosters, and F1 through 4 controls them. I will switch to weapons because I like weapons. <laughs> Someone just self-destructed, that's kind of sad. Satellite lost. Um. Excellent shooter. Okay, Idiot I killed someone. Satellite. It's nice. Uh, essentially what happens is you've got to capture a satellite or two or three. Uh, the more satellite satellites you control, captured. the faster your points tick up. If you've ever played Alderaan in this game, um, which you might not have, you may have if you've played the game before, um, it's like that. Uh, I think it's a thousand points to win. The scout is really maneuverable and it has a lot of uh, has a lot of engines. It's I actually like the scout the most. Don't pay for that. Uh, R is who's shooting at you. In this case, it's a turret. E targets the enemy in front, and Tab targets through all your enemies. I don't know why I'm pressing control. Oh, that feels good. Uh, I have upgraded my weapons slightly. Um, oh, that feels good. I have U-turn as well, which allows me to get rid of missile lock-ons, uh, which is really nice. That only makes us angrier. Um, I'm glad I'm using high shields at the moment. Now they're bleeding. Yay! I killed someone else. Uh, control is my team speak button, and I keep using it for some reason. Uh, but I'm not actually doing anything with it. Um, where is this person shooting me? I can't see them. Time to retaliate. Or I could just self-destruct. Good work, me. Um, yeah, I kind of I do enjoy this game. Uh, I'm gonna switch to the gunship, I guess, for now. Um, you can spawn in three different locations. X stops you, so I just stopped. Uh, you go a little bit faster by holding down W, but not much. S slows you down. Um, good for tight turns and getting in behind someone. See, look, there's Agent Meat Shield. I bet you. I wonder if he's a sniper. Uh, as you can see, gunship is really slow. Uh, which is why I don't like it that much, to be honest. Excellent shooting. But it does do a lot of damage. Now I'm tingling. I killed someone with my gunship. And of course they found me. Oh, it turns so slowly. Where is he? 
Where is he? Down, 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 down. Excellent shooting. Though it does do quite a bit of damage. I've got to say I like the quad laser on this. Obviously, I'm not really a match for a scout um, if, they're, if they're really good, but... Oh, that feels good. This guy is not doing very well. Um, it's like 4 a.m. in the morning, so don't expect a lot from you guys. Time to retaliate. I also have I haven't upgraded the engines on this, so I'm kind of sad. I've got uh, barrel roll, which I hate. I think this guy's a gunship. Oh, that feels good. Or maybe not. I didn't look. Uh, up in the right hand corner is the targeting computer which tells you what they are. I wonder if I'm even going to get the fly, the strike fighter. I might have to self destruct just to get to him. Um, strike fighter is like a cross between the gunship and this guy. Now they're bleeding. Um, they have really. If you like get. If you upgrade the missiles a lot, they're quite good. They'll pay for that. I mean, shot by a turret, I think. Uh, missiles need a lock on time. Uh, you s saw me use the rocket pods earlier. I don't know whether you did or not. Like, they're not really that easy to notice. Um, essentially, rocket pods, you fire and forget. They're dumb fire rockets. Um, Excellent shooting. I'm currently using a gunship which has the sniper. I showed you that earlier. Now I'm tingling. Uh, They'll pay for that. Wow. Oh, that feels good. Um, also, ships have special abilities the based on. Oh, not gonna let them have bad. the kill. Um, essentially, if you self destruct like that, nobody gets the kill. It's quite nice. We're gonna lose this match, but that's fine. I'll be able to show you all three ships. Um, one to four controls your special abilities. Um, one is generally switch weapons for gunship and strike fighter. Two is three are controlled by your shields or your engines. Three is your engines. Two is something else. I don't know what controls two. And four is your co-pilot. Um, as you can see me locking onto this torpedo, hold down right click button and it, um, Locks on. Save us, uh, switch to that. Um, holding down right button locks on. Enemy Left button there. shoots your lasers. Uh, I think you have to shoot out all three turrets to capture a target, but I'm not sure. I'm wasting missiles on a turret, but hey, whatever. Someone was shooting at me there. A scout, which I should be able to kill. I got the speed up for the um, the, sh the missiles, so they lock on a lot faster, 14% faster, in fact, uh, which I really like because before they were pretty hard to use. Oh, I don't have fucking gun power. <laughs> Lol. Oh well, that's fine. We have lost a satellite. I'm not really playing, I'm more of doing like a have fun. Damn it, the scout is actually decent. Bye bye scout. Okay, not bad. Um, we're gonna cap B if I'm lucky. Where is he? The enemy has nearly complete control. We need those satellites. Enemy has taken a satellite. Yes. Oh, we capped B. Sweet. Good me. Good work, me. Um, but yeah, we're probably gonna lose. Well, we're definitely gonna lose. Um, uh, R, E. Who's close to me? Tab, tab, tab. You can see this up in the right hand corner. You can see the. Uh, there's nothing really close to me, so I'm just gonna stay here. Um, I didn't use my special abilities, they. a lot. Uh, I showed you the scouts one. Brilliant maneuver, Master. That's pretty much the same on the strike fighter because I think they're both exactly the same for me. Two is shields for me on my strike fight on all three. And 
laser. The Republic has activated the satellites. Oh, I didn't get my withdraw. quad fire laser Repeat. off. Withdraw. Hey, look, I didn't do too badly that round. In fact, I think I did the best. I did the best overall damage. And almost a 40% hit ratio. That's not bad for me. I'm actually quite happy with that. Um, each ship flies differently. Uh, each one fulfills a different role. Scouts are really good for getting somewhere and actually with the dumpfire rockets are really good at taking out um, the turrets. Although saying that, so are the uh, gunships who can range them and take them out in like one or two shots from the slug. I'll show you the hangar. Um, so here these are your ships, you've got your strike fighters. You can buy some with fleet requisition, which you earn in battles. Um, and you can buy them with cartel coins, which is your cartel shop. See? I'm not going to show you that. Um, that's something else entirely. Um, then you've got your scout. I haven't bought anything else, obviously. And then you got your gunship, where there's no upgrades for this, but you can buy some in the cartel market, I believe. Is that a strike fighter? Scout, strike fighter, scout. Okay, I don't know, whatever. Um, anyway, here are your components, so I can show you down here. On my scout, I currently got the rapid fire laser cannons, and I've upgraded them to be cheaper, which is really helping out for um, doing more damage. I can't wait for the next one. Uh, secondary weapons, locking. You got your rocket pods. Uh, I'm really looking forward to. Oh, I thought this one had ignores armor, but maybe not. Um, Boost shield is my current engine ability, so oh, boost boost recharging boost shields recharges engines faster. Uh, I really like this on the scout because you can get places really fast. Uh, this is my third ability, which is quick shield, quick charge shields. Although I wouldn't mind, uh, wouldn't mind distortion field, but quick charge shield is quite good for now. And I got snap term. It starts off with barrel roll, and I hate barrel roll. Uh, I really much prefer snap turn. Uh, I've left the armor the same, though I have upgraded it two times already. So I have a 4% extra mischance, and I will upgrade it again soon. Uh, they get more expensive as you go on. I think it's like a thousand. I can probably check. A thousand. Uh, I think the second one is... 1500 or 2000 and the third one appears to be two and a half so it's not bad I don't have enough yet um, each of these so these don't do anything by themselves they provide boosts to your ship that's actually a tough one I wouldn't mind the extra engine speed all the regenerating thrusters that's nice as well Oh, well, that's fine. I'm not going to look at that now. Um, gunship. Gunship has two secondary weapons. Um, currently, slug. I've actually unlocked all three. I primarily use the slug. Uh, and I've also got the two piece, uh, the first piece for it. I also use the plasma gun. I don't know what's actually better. I do like the plasma gun because it does a damage over time as well. I haven't upgraded the feedback shields. I want fortress shields eventually. Um, but we'll see. Mm, really want to get rid of this because that's rubbish. I'd much prefer the deflection armor. Uh, I haven't decided what else I want for this. But yeah, the secondary weapons, you can change between them per pressing one. Um, I guess the ion has its place. About more in arms. I don't think it does much to hull no, but it does take down shields really quickly. So I guess if you pair that, but I mean the slug goes straight through shield. It doesn't go straight through shields, but it does a lot of damage. And you can actually get it to ignore armor, I believe. Yeah, there. That'll be really nice. And 
I gotta say, not a big fan of the burst laser. The light laser cannons, which the quad fire I was using earlier, these burst lasers, you can actually see them. Uh, I just, they're not, I can't see them being very good. Maybe someone can tell me that they're much better than I think, but whatever. Um, I didn't show you the strike fighter. And then you've got the strike fighter. It has two primary weapons. Um, I didn't show you the second one, I was about to when we finished. So, the laser cut cannon I showed you. And it's got quad fire, which fires like that. Hey. Um, then you got secondary missiles. I got current concussion missiles, which I really, really do like. Um, and I've got the extra reduced lock-on time, which is makes them a lot better. Um, I wonder... Proton torpedoes. Yeah, those... Interesting. Proton torpedoes have less damage, but have a longer range. I wonder... Does have increased damage and missile speed. That might be interesting to compare the two. Uh, okay, quick charge shields was its other ability, so just faster shield recharge. Interesting. That might be interesting ability. And there we go. And now we've got cosmetics. Essentially, you can make your ships look different. Um, There's not much different, to be honest. You know. You can buy extra stuff. No, fuck. I'm not spending cartel coins. Uh, you can buy different colored, like, engines. I, I'm calf tempted to buy the purple ones for all my ships. Because the purple is hilarious. Uh, you can buy different color lasers. I'm not going to do that. See? I'm not going to do that. Um, crew. You can choose different crew. Um, I haven't logged on to a lot of my characters. I do have a lot of level 50s, so that's why you can't actually see them. As you can see, I have HK51, and if I go down to tactical, I have Trick. Each um, companion does something different. Well, this is probably not the best one to be looking at. Uh, Jacer's group is the best. Like, Jacer... Yeah, weapons accuracy by 6%. Uh, he's got ammo capacity. I shouldn't be looking at those guys. Uh, Kaleo has someone different. Galt has something different. So each person does something different. I don't know why I'm not using Vet. I... No, uh, I'll have Jacer, thanks. I really like Jacer's secondary ability, lingering effects. I don't know whether it's any actually good, but um, it does a little bit extra damage over six seconds. And then we've got the launch screen. Uh, also, you can drag around your ships. Maybe you want a different one to go first, or a different one to go last. And it also tells you exactly what you've got currently equipped on your left hand side. To battle. I'm going to go one more. I will come back when I get a queue because it's currently about oh, there you go 4 18 in the morning um so I don't know what kind of time how long the queue will wait so see you guys in a minute and there we go we're back it only took about a minute that's not bad um I remember when queue times were this short for general pvp now you're looking at Depending on what time I, I'm on, I guess. It looks like this it's 8v8 this time instead of 12v12. This critical operations in this region. It must not fall into enemy hands. Each of this outpost defensive So currently on my scout I've got Booster, Good Judge Shields, Sharp Turn, and Lingering Effects. Watchwords are swift and absolute. Republic forces are in system and will attempt to intercept. Break formation, fire at will, and hold this outpost for the Empire. I like snap turn over uh, Corrigan turn, but I don't know which one's actually better, so lateral versus vertical, so I guess this one turns left or right, whereas this one turns, like does a backflip. Uh, I'll start with the scout, I always like starting with the scout um, to pick up, to help pick up A, B or C, and then from there I might switch to either a strike fighter or 
to say on the scout. I do like the scout. It's good for sniping kills with. Because uh, you can move really quickly. In between. Um, but hey, you know. Um, as you can see, my right mouse button. And I'm not going to find my left mouse button because nothing's actually going to happen. But it's just a rocket pod. And that's switch to one. I don't see any. We have enemies satellite coming access. In, which is interesting. We have satellite access. Oh, we have two satellite of them already. Secured. We have all three. Wow. Oh look, a strike fighter. None of them were scouts, I bet you. Alright, you can actually control where the fighter is by pressing WASD. Excellent shooting. Um, I don't know if it does, if it actually does help. I think it does make you turn slightly faster, but I don't know if that's actually true or not. We have lost a satellite. We lost A. Oh, that feels good. Yay, got him. Uh, nobody heading to C currently, so I'm gonna tab over and have a look at B. Uh, I've let my recharge go down too low. Uh, nobody at B either, so I'm gonna go to C. Interesting. I don't generally fuck with the orientation of my ship because it just fucking annoys me, but. What's that? That's it. Bet you there's fucking gunships waiting for me over there. Oh, that feels good. As you, yeah, so it, I think it does increase the um, speed of your turn. This guy's going to fucking loop around me, isn't he? Retard. Dive. A hole. So, what I just did there was bait him, and I used my sharp turn to dodge his missile. A sharp turn dodges missiles, which is quite nice. Because I knew other people were shooting at him, which is, you know, shooting. fine. Uh, some actual blasters have slightly longer range than the light one, which only has a range of about 4,000. Which... Blessing off first. Whoa, he stopped. Nice. I'm not even going to bother, like... I'm just going to go after people who deathmatch them. Just to be honest, at the moment, we're pretty much guaranteed to win. Now they're bleeding. Yay! really generally don't like giving kills to my teammates, but ooh, a gunship. What a Whoops! Uh, anyway, I haven't used my special, Jace's special lately, but uh, gunships are really fun. If you can get up, like, behind them while they're trying to snipe, that's always fun. Look at this guy. Ah. Uh... Excellent shooting. I don't think he saw me. So yeah, I don't like stopping, because stopping in a dogfight is generally a bad idea. One thing about scouts is they can't really take a beating. Oh, he self-destructed? Really? Uh, 
But yeah, scouts aren't great at taking a beating with, but I guess, you know, highly maneuverable, light armor, that's all good. How far away is him? He's quite far. So it looks like I. Oh, they're capping B now. Yeah, it's okay. My team can handle them. I haven't really gotten a chance to. Sh Ooh, what's he? He's a scout. I was hoping for a gunship. I really want to get up we to have a gunship. Satellite access. Gunship. Gunship. I'm going to see if he's sniping. Where is he? Yeah, he's sniping. <laughs> yeah, see that? Or he was trying to. Where did he go? Whoa. Satellite lost. Excellent shooting. Uh ah. Uh, no one's shooting me. Oh. Time to retaliate. Ah. Uh, so it's that strike fighter trying to kill me. I really need shields at the moment. Now they're bleeding. <laughs> oh my god. I don't generally stop in a dogfight, but that worked out really well. Come on, catch him, catch him, catch him, catch him. Uh, there we go, I'm catching him. Now they're bleeding. They pop oh, someone stole my kill. Oh well, it's fine. Ooh, that guy's really close to me. And he's probably oh no. You can do a really sharp turn if you slow down and then start back up. Um, I'm not really good at that because I've not practiced it. Now they're bleeding. Just don't don't try and run at me. Ooh, Defense gunship. network is almost ours. I don't think we I'm going to make control. it in time, but maybe. Nope. I don't know whether. Oh. So you can shoot from outside the range, but it doesn't work very well often. Damn. Oh, a turret killed him. Ah. Now they're bleeding. Oh, I've run out of rocket ammo. Whoops. Satellite weapons online. Targeting Republic Advanced decorated vet. Stand down, I don't know what that is. Victory is ours. Anyway. Chat. What is it? 150 medals. That's not bad. So I haven't played this a lot, but I can say I am enjoying it. Um, I believe it's only open to subscribers at the moment, and even if you subscribe now, I don't even know if you can get it. Uh, I... Pretty sure you had to be subscribed pretty early on, um, like before December, to get access to all the ships. I know a couple of guys in my guild uh, don't have access to all the ships, which is kind of a shame because uh, you lose out on the gunship. And the gunship is actually quite a bit of fun to play if you don't get constantly picked off by scouts. Um, scouts are really good gunship runners. Um, like, if there's... We actually, surprisingly enough, got the same map twice. Generally, we get Lost Shipyard, which is the other map. Um, in fact, I think I can count on one hand how many times I've played the map we just played on. I think, it's, I think that was the fifth time i played on it. I've played, like, 20 matches or something. Majority of them mean on the other map, Lost Shipyards. So, um, actually got quite lucky there. Anyway... That's been a look at Galactic Starfighter. Uh, it comes out for non-subscribers sometime in January, I believe. Um, and 
I believe as soon as you hit level 10, even if you're um, free to play, you get to start playing with those Galactic Starfighters, because it's space PvP, there is no levels, which is, I think, my favourite part about this, um, is that a level 10 and a level 55 can compete, uh, and sure, the components and the upgrades matter a little bit, but a level 10 can just as well easily beat a level 55, and you can actually level up. It gives okay experience, and there's also a daily and a weekly. As you can see, I have a lot of stuff. I don't think I picked up the daily, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know how much experience it gets, but you can buy experience boosters. I was actually having a look to see what they've got. Increase 25%. So if, say, it takes 10 minutes per match, you get, say, 5 matches per hour. It's a 3-hour boost, so 10, 15 matches. It's probably a good clip of XP. I don't know how well it will level compared, but anyway. Thank you for watching. Let's have fun with Star Wars, The Old Republic, uh, Galactic Starfighter. That's I'm to go all, and that's Chang, uh, my guild, one of my guild's main tanks. As you can see, I'm using black blue, a uh, black blue die. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time, folks. Bye.